<gasps> Shh, baby. Just another nightmare. Everything's fine. You dozed off. Right. Anything more than dozed off would be news for everyone. Cheer up, handsome. We're here. Who are you again? Out here, we're still in the boat. <laughs> oh, yeah, look at those graphics, it's in the lowest setting. <laughs> I don't think it matters if it's like 1900 by 1600. My gun, my flashlight. Let's act like we're on vacation. Go stand next to that old gentleman there. I want a shot of you with the town in the background. <laughs> sure. I'll Fuck even give you a title for the shot. A city from your Moments flashlight. Before he got eaten by a bear. Oh, you can't jump? Has he not learned jump yet? Damn yuppies. Shut up. Alan, before he missed the shot. Fine, Jesus. Pictures. Hey, random old guy. Post for Alice. So it's a good time to visit our town. Deerfest is just two weeks away. Deerfest, huh? Hey. Did you hear that, honey? I'm posing. You have a lovely wife. Like a boss. If you don't mind me saying, I'm Pat Main, by the way. Nice to meet you. Yeah, I'm Alan Wake. I won't pretend I don't recognize a famous writer such as yourself, Mr. Wake. Better recognize. Pleasure. I'm an avid reader myself. I hope this isn't too presumptuous of me, but I'm the night host at the local radio station. Any chance I could get an interview? Look, Mr. Maine, I'm on vacation. In fact, I'd appreciate it if we could keep my being here just between the two of us. I'm sure you understand. Fair enough. You can trust me to be discreet. Not a hard man to track down if you change your mind, though. I hope you two have a <laughs> I'm gonna trust the radio guy. Very nice. I got a couple of really good ones. And I see you made a friend. That's cute. Right. Yeah? Hey, bestseller. How's my favorite writer? Are you there yet? Very. Yeah. We just got here. Are the locals giving you trouble? Just say the word, and I'll hop on a plane and come make sure that you're left alone, Al. No, Barry. We're fine. Great. Great. Just want to make sure you can relax and recharge. So, how is the place? Has it gotten your creative juices flowing? Barry, we're just settling in. Okay, Al. I'll call back later to make sure you're doing okay. And you call me if there's a problem, okay? Okay. I'm just looking out for you, buddy. Talk to you later. I love you too, Barry. What is this? You know it. he's going to be calling you every five minutes. Barry is Barry. I can always turn off the phone. What did I tell you? Text message from Barry. He says hi to you, too. Alan, we're here. Come on, let's get back to the car. We need to stop at the local diner to get the cabin key from the landlord. A Mr. Carl Stuckey. He's waiting for us. I'll go fill her up while you get the key. I'll pick you up here in, say, 15 minutes. Sure. Alan, thank you for coming here with me. I love you too. Go on. I'll promise to behave. I'd forgotten there were still places like this. Towns where everybody knew everybody. Welcome to the Oh Dear Diner. Hi, I was wondering if you could help me. I'm looking for... Mr. Wake. Alan, wake. Oh, God! I am your biggest fan. I know people say that all the time, but I really am. I'm... Glad to hear that. Rose. Rose, I'm looking for Mr. Stuckey. Carl Stuckey? Carl? Oh, of course, Mr. Wake. He must have gone to visit the restroom. He'll be back in a moment. I can't believe it. I've got all of your books. Oh, I'll find Stuckey. I got Stuckey. the cutout from the bookstore when they took it out of the window. 
And you keep it here. Cool well, story, bro. Okay. Good for you. <laughs> Do me a favor, Sonny. I could really use a tune right now. Coconut number six in the jukebox. I'd do it myself, but both of my legs have gone to sleep. Bad circulation. Sick right behind yeah. you, lazy Are you son. Serious? <laughs> Coconut again? You disgust me. Call yourself a rocker. Unbelievable. Ah, it does that. Get stuck. Yeah, you need to give it a good solid whack. Now that's what I'm talking about. Yes. This is it. I've died and gone to hell. The hell? <laughs> you gotta go around bullshit. Uh, hey buddy. Too good to talk to me. Let's see how it is. Yeah, I'm just gonna steal this coffee. Hey, old lady. You take a dump? Don't go in there, young man. You can hurt yourself in the dark. I think I can handle it, ma'am. I didn't want to wait. I wanted to find Stucky to get the key and get out as soon as possible. The waitress was giving me a headache. Overeager fans always did. Hello? How's the dumb going? Mr. Stucky? Carl couldn't make it. Unfortunately, he was taken ill. But I have the key for you and instructions on how to get to the lake. Okay. I wish you a good stay in my cabin. I'll come by later to check how you've settled in. And to meet your wife. I insist. Thanks. Uh, you want to meet my wife? Yeah. Cauldron Lake is a special place, very inspiring. Yeah. You got lucky this time, young man. You can hurt yourself in the dark. <laughs> this really ought to be fixed, and then I must remind Sarah to change the lights at the station. It's been too long already. Even that sounds better than your singing. Are you all right? <laughs> splendid, splendid! <laughs> Damn hernia! It swells up like a balloon if I lift anything heavier than a spoon. Yeah. The Andersons, they're uh, local musicians. We're waiting for Dr. Hartman to come pick them up. They wandered off from his clinic at the Cauldron Lake Lodge. Bye, Mr. Wake. Mission accomplished. The key and the directions. My hero. I got some flashlights, just in case. Hey, wait! Mrs. Wake! Your... Your keys! That diner was a real nut house. <laughs> Can you believe this place? This would make a wonderful setting for a book. We're supposed to be on vacation, Alice. I'll figure it out when we get back home, okay? Okay, we can talk about this later. here on I didn't want to talk about it. I wanted to bury my head in sand. Here's another one of my favorites to go with it. Once upon a time, I was a successful writer, but that was a long time ago. I hadn't been able to write a word in two years, not since my last book. Wicking 
It's pretty dark out here, but they'll light your way. It's gorgeous, Alan. It's something, all right. Don't worry, honey. I'll get you inside safe and sound before it gets dark. And I've got the flashlight. I know. I'm okay. Alice had a phobia. The fear of darkness. I wanted to make sure we were inside with the lights on before sunset. <laughs> so sorry, 30 feet away. It's nothing like in the brochure. It said near the lake, not on it. Don't get me wrong. This is so much better. It's wonderful. Our own private island. Here we go. Let's take a look inside. <gasps> An old generator had been connected to the power cable. I guess we were supposed to do that. I don't know. It was a beautiful place. I told myself I could rest here, sleep here, and forget about my work. I thought we could be happy here. Alice? Honey? Uh... The dear best guests have already started to arrive. Just ran into one on the ferry. Famous artist. Alan, I'm upstairs. I have a surprise for you. I told you to keep it a secret! Why, hello, Rose. What's on your mind? I know who that famous artist was. It was Alan Wake, wasn't it? Uh... <laughs> you guys fucked me! Great. So much for keeping a low profile. Just look silent heel or something. <laughs> God, what is coffee's for? Alan, come here, slow poke. I'm waiting. Oh, yeah. Oh, she's almost making it. <laughs> but there could be something in here. Surprise! Oh, what the hell? Alice? <laughs> what is this? 